Look, what? optionally you can serve this with one cup of rice per no person. Bitch. Obviously, you would want to start the rice at the very beginning. And we're done with five minutes to spare. Which I guess you could say that time could be applied to cutting onions or measuring or whatever else needs to be done. But let me be honest. I think this one cuts a bit close to the 30 minute mark. It depends on your skill level. But I think that's still pretty good, pal. Now, totaling out at a macro calorie composition of this. I mean, are you kidding me? Last and arguably our easiest is chicken alfredo. 30 minutes All begins right. now. Look, you want this to go quick? Heed the advice of how we work in restaurants. If multiple <laughs> things take time, then do them at the same time, right? If you have multiple things working at the same time, don't like start your pasta and then just stand there playing with chat GPT on your phone. Get multiple things working at the same time and they'll finish at the same time. So first off, our pasta. Get two large pots, fill with water, and add to your stove. Are we making our own pasta right here? I guess so. Generously with salt. Now look, it's gonna take about five minutes for them to come up to a boil. So while you're waiting, go and do something else. In this case, you'll take one pound of 450 grams of large skinned chicken. Skinless chicken breasts. Split those bad boys in half so they're thin and flat. And now we have 25 minutes left. Drop your pasta into boiling pot number one and one whole head worth of cauliflower. Let's put it in the words in pot number two. Boil your pasta for nine minutes and your cauliflower for well the same amount of time. You want your cauliflower mushy. Now all those are cooking. Heat a 12 inch pan over medium high heat. Grease it with pan spray. Then pat your breasts dry. The chicken breasts. Season them with whatever you want. Spices, salt and pepper. I don't care. Once they're seasoned, add them to your pan and sear for three minutes per side. Because we cut them in half to thin them out, by the time you flip them and cook them for another three minutes, they should actually be fully cooked with an internal temp of 165 Fahrenheit. Take them out and leave them to rest until we are done. Now after all, right. all that's done, let's say 10 minutes elapsed and we have 15 minutes left. Good thing the rest of this is actually extraordinarily simple. Now once your cauliflower is done and very tender, add to a blender along with five cloves of garlic, a quarter cup or 22 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano, yeah, nice. a quarter cup or 22 grams of Pecorino Romano. These are both grated, by the way. Half a cup or 120 grams of skim milk, salt and pepper to taste, add two tablespoons or 28 grams of unsalted butter, and blend everything until as smooth as physically possible. Then just season that to taste with salt and pepper as needed, and that whole process should take less than three minutes, honestly. Then once your pasta is done and al dente, drain out of your water. Surprisingly, you actually don't need the pasta water in this scenario, although you could use it if you wanted. Place your drained pasta into an empty container or the original pot that you used. Add as much of your cauliflower sauce as you like. Toss it till coated, which leaves you with a grand total of seven minutes to spare. Look, you can go ahead and plate it up now, but if you do have time, you can totally dice up one large zucchini, grease the skillet with cooking spray, heat over medium heat, and cook your zucchini with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, maybe some spices or herbs, and cook for about five minutes, tossing occasionally until brown and just cooked through. That's optional. I like it, you know? I think when you add the pasta to a plate and a little vibrant green squash, maybe a little extra Parmigiano Reggiano, that tiny tinge <laughs> of extra salty umami, having you scream, oh, mommy, seems like a pretty good idea. <laughs> and it's done very easily for under 30 Alright, guys, so um, this video was actually requested by someone. Um, so, I think it should actually have been a combo video because the person requested unhealthy foods and the fastest and then, um, I think, um, what's the other one? It should also be delicious and I think it should actually have been a combo video but, you know, I actually got it on Wizman channel and I think it's good to bring it on this channel also so this video is actually going to be divided into two so the other part you can then you can just check the video i mean the date of this video and just navigate through my channel i, I mean through my playlist so you should actually find the other part of this video either at the bottom or at the upper um you know Minutes in a grand video. total caloric breakdown of this for four servings. So here we are. I feel pretty good. You know, everything I would say for the most part passed the time test. Now let's begin the Nor test. So we have three things here. Nor is our analyst and our verifier. Welcome back. How do you feel? Feeling good, man. Ready to eat. Stick hero for Ready to eat. This, on the other hand, there's a trick I did with this. Okay. I want you to try it first, then I'll tell you what the trick was. And then tikka masala. Cheers. Buongiorno. Let's. Macro friendly. That would have about 10, 12 grams of fat. Boom. On diet. Let's go. Next one. On Diet. Go right. Like use cream. Cauliflower. Cook the cauliflower down, and you just blend it with a little bit of milk. In reality, like in this whole plate of pasta, there's probably like I don't know two tablespoons of milk, maybe. It is balanced. You just have to portion out the pasta. I guess if you're trying to lose weight, one cup of pasta, five to six ounces of chicken, two to three ounces of veggies. On diet. All right. Last one. So this is tikka masala. Obviously, give a little stir. We can't use a heavy cream, so I use half and half instead. Twelve grams of fat for the whole recipe. Again. This is my favorite out of all three. High protein, low fat. Sure. Low flavor. <laughs> this is the big one. This has the most flavor. I agree. And it's the easiest to make. Go <laughs> One cup of carbs. You're on diet. Period. End of story. And under it's 30 It's all minutes, about flavor, guys. Like I told you I could barely use them. And on the next episode.
sort of get shredded. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> Yeah. Diet, don't think of it as a diet. Think of it as a moment to get creative with your food and enjoy it. <laughs> Alright guys, that's interesting. Alright, so get you another videos and stay blessed. Peace.